what is going on everyone so I'm back again with another unboxing video and uh, they still haven't finished my room so I'm still stuck here on this spot I'm still in my old area so they will be unboxing Ooh, <laughs> you can hear the train <laughs> today I'll be unboxing a kit that I got a few weeks ago but uh, I was trying to save it for something else so I'm just gonna be opening it today because I can't take it anymore and I have to build it. <laughs> the kit is the Master Grade Shining Gundam. Adjust the camera. So, hope you can see. Master Grade Shining Gundam. So, I got this on sale from a toy store nearby. Ooh, you can hear the train. So I got this for really cheap and uh, I'm going to open it now. So let's take a look at the box first. So here's the front of the box. So again, oh the classic Master Grade fighting action symbol. Here's the Shining Gundam and Dawn one at the bottom. Here's one side of the box. Another showing the finished kit in its super mode or hyper mode. And the kit in normal mode, the inner frame, and some action poses, some of the parts and the accessories, and the figure of Dominic Cash Rigger. <laughs> Here's another side, shows us the Shining Gundam posing, and uh, we can see it's worth 2500 yen. So, in Philippine standards, it would probably cost around 1200. So, so let's open her up and see what we have inside. Oh, and this kit is an old kit and it was made during the early 2000s, I think. Let's check the box for the info. It was made in 2002. I hope you can see that. Let's shine some light on it. It was made in 2002. So it's pretty old. So this kid is 16 years old now. So I hope it holds up. Okay. First things first. Still have this. The how to build a gun blow. How to make a gun blow rather. And I miss this kind of boxes. See, when you open the box, there's a cover cover of the picture. Of the actual kit itself so you can see there in the gold jets right there in the arm legs the shoulder armor uh, I wish all the modern Gundam kits have this inside the box so <laughs> okay let's move on to the parts so just remove that and, uh, okay we have one two Three, four, five, six, seven bags of parts, and we have the instruction manual. So let's uh, take a look at the instruction manuals first. Let's move that a little bit out of the way. So here's the front of the manual. See Master Grade Bandai Shining Gundam, and it has the logo of the King of the Hearts, King of Hearts rather. Up. Some info on the Shining Gundam, some of the parts, where you put the, need the names of the parts, instruction, some more info about the unit, colored page shows some dynamic poses, some scenes to be recreated, some more instruction and some more info on the unit itself. There you go. The last part, the gimmicks, how to transform it, how to attach the core lander. There you go, where to put the decals on. And here's the back of the instruction manual. So if you would notice, here's the cover of the box and 
here's the back of the manual so it reflects on the look of the covered box so pretty neat if you ask me so let's just take this out of the way and let me open each bag okay so on the first bag we got the hands the soles of the feet and the no, it's the rubbery thing uh, for the feet and the hands, of course. The yellow parts, oh god, it looks so bad. The yellow parts look so bad. <laughs> this is for the jets of the legs. So this should come in gold. This too, or for the forearms, so this should come in gold as well. Even this, but it comes in this puke yellow so I might have to paint it the proper color to make it accurate so I'll use my gold paint for it and just look for it oh there we go so I may might be using this it's the Bosnia 351 gold so I've used this with my Iron Man kit, so I'll just paint those parts when I get there, when I get to building it. Second baggy. Okay, the second baggy includes the parts for the side skirts, the shoulder plates. It's a duplicate plate for the legs as well. As you can see here, parts of the shoulder armor, the legs, side skirts some of the forearm parts nice baggy okay next runner we get this for the inner frame so parts of the legs, the shoulders, the waist section some of the pistons that we got a bag of screws and nuts and beam saber one long and one short moving on to the next bag So this kit again is 16 years old and uh, based from what I have heard this kit did not age well so but uh, with a little tender loving care you might salvage it. <laughs> okay so we got a sheet of poly caps, the red parts for the inner parts of the leg, the face, the feet, the waist section get a dual sticker for the chest part move on to the next baggie so we get more screws the blue parts for the core lander the forearm guards the guards for the legs chest piece Mm -hmm. Figure of Dom and Kashu. We're going now to the next bag. So it has a lot of parts compared to the God Gundam, to be honest. But it's pretty doable. So this one, some more parts for the inner frame. Now move on now to the last bag. Finally, last baggy. So we got the parts for the armor, the ties, the face, some of the vents, some of the inner frame as well. And, uh, the shining finger and the clear parts for the core lander and the eyes of the Gundam. And we get 
another small baggie inside the baggie so it gives us the full stickers the decals that we can use and a replacement V fin and crest for this transformation so that's about it and I'll see you when I finish this thing and when my room is complete so for now bye bye